Mohaha! <laughs> That's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody. I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are, thank you so much for coming back to my corner of the internet. Today, oh today, we have the Ofra Cosmetics X Hot Mess Mama of Four Sweet and Sassy Collection, Volume 2. <laughs> If you've been here for a little while, you already know that we got the first collection that Rhonda came out with with Ofra. That one was the Unconditional Mini Mix Palette. I feel like this is going to be a perfect supplement to Little Miss Sweet and Sassy here. We've got some of those warm, bright pinky tones, and then we've got kind of the cooler, more wintry tones. I think those are going to be great together. Plus, we've got our products for the face as well. The lip bundle in this collection is also a little bit different from the previous one. The first collection had the Hot Mess Mama Liquid Lipstick and Butterfly Kisses Gloss. And the Sweet and Sassy collection has the Gemini lipstick and Butterfly Kisses gloss. This palette is screaming summertime, springtime, pops of color, that gorgeous skin. Now very quickly, I need to see these swatches. Hello pigment. And this is the shade Sugar Dumplings. New Journeys. Oh wow, that one is so bright. Sweet and Sassy. Oh, she's iconic. I've got so much light, that one's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can build it up a little bit more. Wow, it's so bright that you can't see it. Let me turn that brightness down just a little bit for a second. Wow, really? You still can't see it? What the heck? In the mirror, it is so intensely reflective. Oh, you can kind of see it there. See, it's just literally my skin tone, but with a little bit more pink to it. So it's really hard to see. Hallway meetings. And dream big. And there's all five sweet and sassy shades. Just so you've got a little bit of a reference, this liquid lipstick is the Hot Mess Mama shade, and this is the Gemini shade. In the center is the Butterfly Kisses gloss. Hot Mess Mama is more of like your mauve wearable shade, then Gemini is more of like your berry mauve wearable shade. Without further ado, I'm gonna get my base done off camera, and we'll go in with the eyeshadow palette. Base is done, eyes are primed, we are ready for some eyeshadow. And I really, really, really want to use this like hot pink shade the New Journeys shade. So that's gonna be the shade I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna deepen with some of Dream Big and probably buff everything out with Hallway Meetings. And of course, I'm absolutely gonna use Sweet and Sassy. That, that just has to go all over the lid. But I'm not gonna do a cut crease. I'm just gonna try to keep it simple. Try being the keyword. Oh, that is such a pretty pink. Wow, when you first put it on and you just make like a wash of it, it's kind of that perfect like blushing blush tone, like a natural blush. That's very pretty, but I want it to be much more intense. So we're just gonna keep building. I'm only gonna keep it on the outer corner though, because I want to use a lighter shade for the inner corner. We'll just kind of see how that goes. That is stunning. It's bright and bold and super vivid. It didn't take a long time to build up. And I love that you can make it just that wash of light pink or build it up to this. That is so pretty. Now I'm gonna use the shade Hallway Meetings and that's gonna be for the inner corner as well as blending out the dark pink shade New Journeys up into the brow bone. This orangey shade is so much fun. I don't know why, but I kind of thought that it was going to be more like nudie-ish once I put it on, but it's definitely more on the like melon side of things. And I'm so glad it is because now it's more colorful than what I thought it was going to be. So naturally, we're just going to keep adding more color. Mm. Just the way those two shades look together is so nice.
I packed a whole lot more color on than I normally do. You guys, I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just having a lot of fun with the color. I don't normally take my colors up all the way to the brow bone anymore. I mean, I used to back in the day because I thought that was the only way I could do it. But just these pops of bright, bold orange and pink are giving me life for springtime. Totally happy with that. That looks so good. I'm for sure gonna go back in with the pink again and just kind of rebuild it. That way you can actually tell the difference in the shades, but so far so good. At this point, I could totally just take these same two shades, copy them over to the lower lash line, put a cute pink liner in the waterline and put on some mascara and this could be a finished look. I need to go darker though. So I'm gonna go into the shade Dream Big and just add some depth on the outer V and maybe in the inner corner, probably not in the inner corner, but we'll see once I get the outer corner built up. Uh, okay, so that was literal perfection. I'm loving just how versatile these shades are. You can keep them sheerer and make them a different shade because that is not the same shade. And it's only because I mixed it with that pink shade. Now that I've established the placement of the area that I want that darkest shade, I'm gonna go back in with the big fluffy brush I've been using in the hot pink shade. New Journeys, I don't know why I can't remember that name. Now we're just gonna use this brush and this shade to buff out this darkest shade. I'm gonna try to keep it really concentrated. I wouldn't normally use a brush this big for this part of the blending. I'm doing a two-in-one review, so we're testing the brushes. Mohahaha! <laughs> That's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that worked. I was really afraid I was gonna blow out that dark shade way too much and it was just gonna become a dark purple look. But good news, it's not. Finally, we get to go in with Sweet and Sassy. I'm pretty sure this is a lip brush, but I'm gonna use it for a brow bone highlight and I'm also gonna put that shade all over the lid. But I wanna start with the brow bone highlight because I wanna see if it's actually gonna work. I just know Ofra highlighters are super intense and I don't know how intense it's gonna look on the brow bone. Wow, she's glowy. But you know what? That's really not too bad. And honestly, who am I kidding? The more reflective, the better. That shade kind of makes the perfect brow bone highlight for this look. Since I put it on with just sort of a sheer wash of color, it lets that melon color kind of shine through a little bit. So it almost makes the shimmer shade look like it's tinted to match the eyeshadow look. Grabbing the brush that I used in the shade Hallway Meetings, I remembered, again, and just lightly buffing right over that highlight so it's not so intense at the edge of it. And last, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and completely cover my lid. Can I turn my lights down so you can see that more? Oh my gosh, that is so stunning. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Ugh. And it kind of has turned into like a soft pinky color because I didn't cut the crease first and it's going on top of that pink. Oh, <laughs> these are the kind of metallic shades I love. You can do so much with this kind of shimmer shade. It's another one too that you can leave sheerer if you'd like so that your eyeshadow underneath can show through and it look like it's tinted that tone. Or you can cut the crease, really, really build it up and make it that super intense, pretty much a highlighter, but it will have the tone that it has in the pan. That's cool, right? Oh, also when it's spread out a little bit and sheared down like that, it sort of gives it just a little splash of glitter, just a little oomph. You know what? I love this. And I don't really go for pinks. Now granted, I'm the kind of person that's not gonna wear pink all the time, but I'm game for a good Wednesday full of pink. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Now that the eyeshadow is all complete, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, finish off the rest of my makeup, and we'll come back and try out the new lip bundle. Let's finish off this look with Gemini. I did go ahead and put on some lip liner. I used the Gerard Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Ecstasy. I thought when I held these beside each other that this was gonna be just a little bit deeper than this, but now that it's on the lip, I don't really think it's gonna be, but we're gonna go ahead and go in with Gemini anyway. Worst case, I'll just reline my lips with Gemini. 
<gasps> oh wait, oh yay, it is gonna work. So they're the same depth as in like, you know, level of darkness, but the undertone is more pinky than the lip liner is. So it looks like it's just going from a cool toned purple to a warm toned pink. And that's totally okay, especially with all this going on. My new favorite lip combo, Ecstasy and Gemini. Got it. Oh, you know what I wanted to do really quick while this is still wet? I also wanted to take a little bit of the Hot Mess Mama shade because it's more of like your peachy nude and just put a tiny little bit of that right on the center. That is so cute. What a perfect lip combo for a look like this. Obviously all of the attention is on the eyes. So this lip is perfect. All we're missing now is the glossy finish and I need a glossy finish. So let's add butterfly kisses right on top. That is exactly what I was missing. I just needed that shiny glossy finish to the lips. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just put on everything that I put on the back of my hand because I have so much left over. So we're just gonna be extra glossy today. Well, Rhonda, I think you and Ofra did it again. This collection is fantastic, especially right now for summertime. This is just mm, pink chef's kiss. She's bright, she's bold, she's vivid, she's glowy. She's got some depth to her. And I didn't use this shade. That one could have been really fun too, but it's more of like your, it's not actually blue based, but it has more blue in it than say like this shade, obviously. And check this out. If you combine the mini mix palette with the sweet and sassy palette, you have like a full summer and winter time face and eye palette. You've got the nudes, you've got your neutrals, you've got your pops of color, you've got a green and a really, really deep purple and a black. It's kind of the best of all worlds. It's really just a little dash of everything. And the lip combo, I mean, come on. That is absolutely perfect for this collection. I'd like to thank Ofra Cosmetics and Hot Mess Mama of Four for sending over this collection so we could review it together today. If you guys aren't following Rhonda, AKA Hot Mess Mama, I will have her channel linked in the description down below so you can follow her and support her as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up just to let me know. Also, if you like this look and you wanna see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMU. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.